Hello our beautiful Today Roots and welcome to our channel and today we are doing Sephora Play, Ipsy, and Boxy Charm. We're doing them all! Boxy Charm. Boxy Charm. I did not pronounce that correctly. Boxy Charm. Liz is going to do a Sephora and the Ipsy and then I'll unbox the Boxy Charm. Open. They sent it in a gold thing instead of pink. What's up with that? This came really late, guys. Today is the oh, 26th, going. and we just now got it today. I need to go grab something real quick. So we saw the the bag of this, and it's super cute. And uh, <laughs> there's a butt on it. So oh. Lissa, well, our foreign exchange student, Emma, had this, and she left it behind. Anyway, this is a cleanser, and look, it has the same character on it. It's an egg. So it's a Korean character, apparently. And uh, this one is lazy and easy, all kill cleanser, oil to foam. And the rest of it is in Korean, Korean because I can't read it. But it says made in Korea, and I only know that, even if I didn't read that, I would know that this is Korean. Just because having Emma from South Korea here, we I recognize the Korean characters now. So I can spot Korean and Thai characters out of all the, like the Asian countries. And so, yeah, this was left behind, but we saw that bag and I'm like, wait a minute, we have something with that design on it. And it was this cleanser. So. Okay, so first we have Trifle Cosmetics Raspberry Ripple Blush Palette, I guess. It's a really small blush palette. That it's insanely small. Um, but it's super cute packaging. It, that is really tiny. So this is a cruelty-free, three light enhancing blush shades, in one in nifty, and portable palette is all you need for smooth. That is, I don't know anybody who could use these shades for a blush. This looks like a tiny eyeshadow palette. It does. It doesn't look like it a It doesn't look like palette. a palette. There's no way, and even if you did the, did like an ombre thing with your brush, there's still going to be, I'm, that's just too tiny. I do not think, unless this is just their little sample palette, but even then I would just use this as shadows because these are too little. Swatch test, I guess. Soft, but a bit powdery. So this last one is the m most pigmented, and there's the swatches. I don't know if you can see all that. Okay, so let's do the pink one again, which is right here. And then the middle one right here. And then this last one was the, the most pigmented one. No, can you even see those shades? You know the benefit sample um sizes that they normally send the little squares this is a little bit bigger than those squares yeah just slightly i don't know um i'm just gonna have to use them as shadows that's the only way that this can be used the colors are really pretty and this one in particular i'm really loving for the fall i think that would be such a, a beautiful fall shade this one is very 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 natural and this pink one I'm too tan for this pink one um, right now, but in the winter I might be able to pull it off. Let's see. Let's do it on the inside. There we go. Can you see those better? There. I had to do it on the inside of my arm so you guys can see them because I'm too tan. I got a lot of sun this year. Okay. Let's just go on. <laughs> okay. So next we have... Oh, gotcha. Whatever. It's an illuminator brush. Um, for um, highlighter. So you would use this and put your highlighter on. So I do this, this. Can you even see my highlight? Oh, yeah. You can see my highlight. That's ColourPop for you. But... Yeah, that's what this is, is I would use this as highlight. That's cool. Okay. That's cool. 
Next we have Ofer Cosmetics. Ooh. And it's a Gold Rush Eyeshadow. Gold Rush Eyeshadow. Do I have, what do I have, what do I have? Look at my Z palette. These are Ofra. This is Buttercup, Truffle, maybe Bohemian. I don't have that color. That's really pretty. It's like a copper penny. That's what it reminds me of. It looks like a copper. Oh, man. Right there. Bam. Dang. This is going in my palette. This I love. That's This is my favorite thing in the box right here is this eyeshadow. This is phenomenal. You will not need to use anything it's a beautiful foiled shadow and man look at that pigmentation on my tan hand on top of it yay i like that thanks ofra and next we have ciate ciate, mm -hmm. ciate london wonder wand gel coal liner i need i'm making a mess with that Wonder Wand Gel Coal Liner. It doesn't say anything about color, but it looks like it has it, two ends on it. Ipsy, we need your help. Please list the stuff that are in these cards. Birchbox would list products and what they are. So, um, yeah, we got this. I don't know the exact color, so, oh well. I'll use it anyway. And last we have Codalie. Codalie. You're welcome. Venusaurus Cream Sorbet Hydrant. Moisturizing Sorbet. Oh, I think I've used this before. Um, yeah, this is just a moisturizer, I believe. Apply morning and evening to face and neck either by itself or after your serum. So yeah, I've used this before and super excited about getting another one because I really do love Caudalie products. And they're super expensive. Where are they from? Paris. Paris. Okay. That was everything in this bag. This bag is so stinking cute. And I'm gonna keep it forever because it reminds me of Emma, of my Emma, of my Emma. Okay. Foxy Chum, Cutie Pie. They do list everything on the back. So here's everything. I like that they're doing these egg foam carton things for this. Okay, okay. What are you? So Winky, and it's got an Egyptian eye and lots of other Egyptian symbols. Are you an eyeliner? Can you look at that card? What are we? There's two ends. It's, it's a brow, but this is too dark for me because this is in black. Unibrow Universal Eyebrow Pencil. Oh, okay. So, um, I'm confused. I'm going to pass this on just because this is just too dark for us. It's a brow pencil, but look at that dark brown. Yeah. That's not going to work for us, but we'll pass it on. We'll find some happy home for it to go to. Ooh, a ColourPop beeper. Okay, I have Tuesday and London Fog. This is Tuesday and this is London Fog. So this is Beeper to hot pink. I don't need more hot pink ones. I just don't. Oh no, it's not hot pink. It's a nude. Where's my other nude one? I have another nude one. Um, mm, I don't know. I don't know. So this one is in um, airplane mode which is a super, super light shade. And then here's Beeper on top. So it's just a couple shades darker. To be honest, I don't use a whole lot of nude lips. So anyway, that's cool that we got a ColourPop item. What did I do with that other thing? Uh-huh, it's in my hand. I'm just all over the place, guys, sorry. Then we have um, Project Beauty set spray set go makeup setting spray um, I have several makeup setting sprays and I just don't use them <laughs> so that's really cool though I 
I just want to smell it. Oh. What is that? No, kind of alcohol smelling to it. I don't know. It is, it's, it says, test it on people, not animals. <laughs> That's awesome. So we got that in there. And then we got two of these. So this is Blink Electric Eye Palette. You kind of got all scraped up. But anyway. Electric. Um, an electric combination of jewel toned eyeshadows. So let's look. No. Oh. I was expecting crazy colors. No. They're really pretty colors. Those are really pretty. Um, so these would all look like their shimmer, or not shimmer, like foil satin shades. So you would need trans you would need a secondary palette for this. So it's not like you can just use this. Um, for that and then we have bare minerals invisible light translucent powder duo So we have matte and then we have a glow one. They're really pretty. Well, it's pretty packaged pretty everything So pretty 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 so I'm not gonna swatch it because it'd be kind of Yeah But yeah, there's a matte and then there's that it looks like this had been scraped up there's that and that is everything in the boxy charm this month. I think that it's a great um, variety of products because we have the translucent powders. You got your matte in your shimmery or glow shot side. You have the blink eyeshadows. You have a setting spray. You have a lip and a brow. But yeah, you got the essentials except for mascara. <laughs> I should say that. But yeah, it's really cool. I really love this box. Uh, I always, yeah, there's a few things that will come up that I'm not necessarily keen on, but you know, I have an eBay page and I just turn around and resell the ones that I won't use and I'll make my money back. Super easy. So then what I do keep is basically free. So let's go into Sephora Play. Do I have a, something to look at? I do, I do. Look at this. I do, I do. So this is called Glamp Out. And that is so cute. I love the gingham, gingham? What? Ging, ging, gingham, gingham, gingham style? Is that the word? Am I even using the right word? This is Ging, ging No, it's, it's gingham print or something. That's not necessarily plaid, but ging, gingham? I'm looking it up. I gotta look it up because I'm gonna go crazy. Yes, that's the word. Gingham. How do you pronounce that? I just feel like I'm not pronouncing that right. But it's a checkered print is what it is. And that's a gingham print. That's not plaid. Pretty much though. So. It's very close to plaid, but not quite because plaid will have some smaller stripes in there too. But yeah, that's gingham print like that. Super cute. So the first item we have is Clean Reserve. Ooh, I don't like that. Oh, it's sweetening up on your skin. Top notes, honeysuckle, blue cypress, birch wood. I could totally smell the woodsy notes in there. Temple Ott, O-U-D. How do you pronounce that? Night Blooming Jasmine, Base Notes, Soft Suede, Gold Patchouli, and Black Amber. That kind of reminds me more of a manly scent than a female scent. But, yeah, I don't know. What would you say that would be? Is that more of like a cologne scent? Yeah. Or like a unisex? That would be a good unisex scent. Yeah. It's a per it's a perfume, but it just has got that deep woodsy notes in it that I can smell more than anything else. I probably won't wear this, so okay. let's move it on. Next we have Rose Face Mask. The flower is yours. Hydrating and toning gel masks refreshes tired, dull skin with a calming infusion of pure rose water and rose petals. 
This cult favorite mask is light, luxurious, and made with real rose petals. It smells like rose and a few other things in there. Mm -hmm. It's kind of gross looking. Mm -hmm. Look at that color. Next, we have Rio Geo. Mm -hmm. Resarco Milk. And it's a leave in conditioning spray. Yep, for your hair. For the hair. Non greasy moisture without weighing down your hair. I'm super excited because I love, I've been using a lot of. Oh, I got on my nose for one, but two, it smells so good. Smell that. Fruity. That smells so good. Super excited about this because this smells phenomenal. So this will make your hair smell phenomenal too. Yay. Next we have Kodali. Kodali. Kodali, whatever. We just had it in our last bag, that pink one. Yeah. It's a glowing, activating, anti-wrinkle serum. Highly concentrating pollution protection serum reveals the youthful glow while helping to visibly smooth fine lines. And then we got a couple good ones. Ooh. Bobby Brown opening uh, eye opening mascara. Long wearing mascara. Black. Long wearing mascara visibly thickens, curls, and lifts lashes with a carbon black formula. I don't think I've tried I haven't tried anything by Bobby Black Brown. <laughs> Hi. Hi. And then last we have a little lipstick. By Tarte. C la V. C. It says set sail. Set sail is the color? Mm-hmm. Long lasting yet moisture rich lipstick softens and smooths lips while providing fall coverage. Co full coverage color. Fall cover. Fall. Fall. I can't type. I can't type. Mm. I can't talk. Mm. This is not helping me. That's really pretty. I like that. Okay. Sweetness. That is it. That is everything in our three boxes. Obviously, BoxyCharm value-wise blew the three out of the water, but I will list the value-wise for Ipsy, Sephora, and BoxyCharm for you guys, so you guys can kind of see what the values are. Tell us what you guys think One, Yeah, we love to hear feedback and stuff on our videos. So anyway, this dog is prancing because he thinks it's dinner time and it is dinner time for him. Yeah, it's five o'clock. Malachi, is it? Yeah getting really excited. I taught him sign language. Eat. And this is cookie, but I signed that for treat. And then this is toilet, but I signed this for potty if he needs to go outside and go to the bathroom. So I'll do the sign for toilet. And what other signs do I use for him? So yeah, those are the three main ones that we, oh, and water, we taught him water, water. So those are the three things that we, well, I use for him more than anybody else. I think the kids use the toilet or eat more than anything else. But yeah, that's four signs, we're, uh, four words in sign language that he knows. Don't ya, Malachi, don't ya. When we sign this, he like exaggerates and licks his lips. He's very exaggerated when he does it. Yeah. Let's see if we can get him in video. Uh, no, wrong way. Wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Malachi, you eat time? Hmm? Malachi, you trying to eat? You see that? Better go feed him now. You better go feed him now. 
you hungry? See, he licks his lips like crazy. Okay, I'm gonna go <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for joining us in this unboxing and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye! Wait, what do you say? Bye! <laughs> Bye! <laughs>